What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since we've done a fish trap, so we're doing another one today, and it's gonna be absolutely epic. We got a bin right here, we got some duct tape. We're actually gonna be making it DIY. Anyone can do this, you can go to the store. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it today and how to catch fish. So we got some scissors, we got some super glue, we got duct tape, we got a plain old plastic bin, and then last but not least, we got a Hawaiian punch bottle. Now that is gonna do the biggest part, basically. I'm gonna show you how it's all done, how we set this thing up, and then we are gonna put this thing in the water. We also, we're switching it up a little. Instead of using dead bait for our fish trap, we are gonna be using live jumbo shrimp. So we're going after something crazy today. We got a dozen shrimp in this bucket right here. This is gonna be epic. Cut this, just like that. Cut her off, eh? Cut her off, huh? I got kind of the whole cut out. What we're gonna do since I kind of cracked it is we're gonna put this in and we're gonna take this duct tape right here and then we're gonna tape the outside just so there's no little holes or anything and nothing can escape. And then to finish it off, the last piece right here. And then boom, that thing's not moving anywhere. No fish are getting out of that. So the trap is all done. Got it all taped up. Got the bottle right here. And this is how it came out. What's gonna happen is we got the big side right here. The fish are gonna smell the food go in through the big side. And then once I get into the inside, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to find their way out. Some fish do escape, but most of the time, they don't find their way out and they're just in the trap. Today, we're gonna be going after aquarium fish. This is salt water, so hopefully we can catch some dope aquarium fish. Let's do it. We got the live shrimp right here, and we're gonna put probably about six of them in here. I've never done live shrimp in my life, so this is a first. Do some big ones and some small ones for smaller fish. They're definitely gonna smell this. They're gonna see them like swimming around and then try to get them. This is gonna be sick. All right, here we go, boys. Here we go. To finish it off, we are gonna tape the top just to make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere. Boom. Now we gotta find a place to put our trap. So right here, we got a whole bunch of rocks. In these rocks are a bunch of aquarium fish, rats, snappers, puffers, eels, crabs. There's a whole bunch of invertebrates too. I have absolutely no clue what we can catch it. This is gonna be dope though. I think I'm gonna place it like right there. I think that's a good area. We got a lot of rocks. I'm gonna go down there and then I'm gonna place a rock on top. Going in, boys. I see little fish already. Look at that little guy right there. Looks like a goby or something. And guys, by the way, I have caught in pretty much every saltwater thing you can think about in a fish trap, so I know for a fact these things work. I've caught in stingrays, I've caught in an octopus. The only thing I haven't caught is like, it's, I don't know. But maybe we can catch something different today. There's so many fish down here. Here we go. We gotta fill it up. Cool. We gotta fill it up. I'm trying to find a spot. Dude, there are fish. All right, I need the tank. I'm trying to find a spot to put this in. Kind of lodging into some rocks. Boom. I got the trap placed. I got a whole bunch of rocks around me, and there is also literally probably a thousand fish right here. I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Trap is placed right there. As you can see, we got all these rocks, and in these rocks, there's eels, octopus, crabs, all types of aquarium fish. The water is a little low right now, but this is what I wanted to show you guys, right? Look at all those fish. I don't really know if you can see them. They're tiny, but they're all just like, where did they go? I just saw a puffer fish. So we got our trap placed right there. Got the rocks on top of it. Got the live shrimp in there. We're gonna give that about 45 minutes and then we're gonna come back and see if we have anything. So it's been about 45 minutes. It is time to check our trap. I'm pretty confident we got some stuff. Hopefully something exotic. Anyways, we're gonna check this thing. I'm excited. What do you think? Bart? There's definitely gonna be fish in there. Okay. I know so. Oh, one of the rocks fell off. Can't see anything. Oh. Literally can't see anything. So, we gotta wait till I bring it up. Ah! <laughs> this is gonna be heavy. I literally can't see anything. Don't let anything get out. Don't let anything get out. Okay? Because there could be an eel or something, something exotic. And those things will slither their way out. Okay, come on. Up, up. Be careful. Ugh. Ready? Oh, 
We got a bunch of fish. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Nothing exotic. Look. Holy crit. <laughs> look at all these little sergeant majors. What else? I can't really see, dude. There's a glare. Then we got a spot. So we got mangrove snapper. I'm going to show you him. It looks like they just ate all the smaller shrimp. But other than that, that was definitely a success. We were gone for 45 minutes. Look how many fish we caught in this trap. One, two, three, five sergeant majors, two mangrove snapper in a spot. So I'm going to show you what the mangrove snapper look like. I'm going to show you every single fish right now. So here's a spot right here. Really, really cool looking fish. Great bait fish. Literally one of the best bait fish. Then we got the sergeant major, which is a big, big aquarium fish. You see these all the time in aquariums at school up. That's probably why there's a bunch in here, just because they're always swimming in schools. And then last but not least, nothing crazy. Sometimes we'll get like exotic surprises, just like not common basically. And it seems to be this time we just got the normal aquarium fish, mangrove snapper, sergeant majors, and some spots. This is insane, dude. Look how many fish are here. I think this may be one of the most um, fish I caught in a fish trap before. Then we got the mangrove snapper, which is a protected species. They have to be 12 inches in order to keep them. Really, really, really pretty fish. Let's get these guys up here. We are not going to be keeping any of these fish today. We didn't catch anything exotic to come out here and do these fish traps. If we do end up catching something crazy that's worth keeping, we'll 100% keep it. But nothing here is that crazy to keep, so we are going to be releasing everything today. First fish, right? Sergeant Major. Boop. Another Sergeant Major. Look at how pretty that fish is. Insane. Here he goes. Live another day, buddy. And then spot. This is one of the best bait fish ever. To live another day, buddy. And then the last sergeant major right here. He's a lot darker than the other ones. I don't know if that's just the species, but a lot darker. Our two little baby mangrove snapper. Adorable. Another really, really pretty fish. Here he goes. Our last mangrove snapper. Is that everything? That's everything. All right, so as you can tell, that was a success. We got a bunch of fish in our trap. I haven't done one of these traps in so long, and I know you guys have been waiting for one because just because I've seen comments all around saying fish trap, do another fish trap. We haven't seen them in a while. So we decided to bring it back to the old days and do a DIY little fish trap, and it worked. If you guys want to see more fish traps where we come out, we do monster fish traps. DIY where we make stuff, literally just whatever is around us, we make it into a fish trap and we just gotta use like rocks and stuff. If you wanna see stuff like that, comment down below or give this video a like. But with that being said, we caught a whole bunch of aquarium fish in our trap today, in our DIY fish trap. If you guys wanna do this, all you gotta do is get a bin, get a top, bottle, some tape and scissors, and then bait, and then you're good to go to make a fish trap. With that being said, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more, like I said, comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. That being said, we'll see you in the next one. See ya!